Alright guys, so you're going to need a bowl and it can be any type of bowl. I'm going to be using one cup of butter and it can be sticks or it can be this one that I got from the tub. Um, then you're going to need half a cup of sugar. Then you'll need some Philadelphia um, cream cheese. And on this, I'm going to do three teaspoons. You're just going to need any electric mixer and we're just going to mix this all up until it gives us a smoothish finish. So after you're done all mixing this and making it smooth, we're going to go with one whole egg and then we're going to go with two yolks. And we're just going to pour that in. Then you're going to go with vanilla extract and here I'm using the Mexican vanilla extract and we're going to add two tablespoons of that and then we're just going to continue and mixing until it's all mixed up together. After that is all mixed up together, we're going to be sifting some all-purpose flour and we'll be using three cups and a half of flour. Then we'll be adding some baking powder and that's about one tablespoon. Then we're just going to mix it all up just so the flour doesn't go anywhere because we are going to be mixing this with the electric mixer. But I just want to mix it first so the flour doesn't go flying everywhere. Then we have the cookie dough ready and basically I just got some saran wrap and I just pat, I'm just patting this down so it can give us that flat effect so like that it's so much easier to roll out and cut the cookies out when it's done. After we're just going to be refrigerating this for two hours. Moving on to the icing we are going to be using four cups of powdered sugar and I forgot one step and I forgot to sift it. Yes, I know. I I was so sad, but oh well. After, I'm just going to be adding two tablespoons of vanilla extract, and I'm just going to put it on the side rather than on top of it. So like that, it's just so much easier to mix. And then I'm just going to add some egg whites, and this is about half a cup of egg whites and then I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this all up it was a long process just because it is very very thick thick icing now moving on to the food coloring so basically here I have four little glasses and I'm gonna be adding some icing onto each of these and I'm just gonna go ahead and put some food coloring and I'm gonna start with red and as you can see I put one two three four five six of these red and one two three four of the blue and I'm gonna whip that all up and it gives us a purple color I am so 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 in love with that it, it was just amazing I had so much fun doing this <laughs> anyways moving on to the second one here I'm gonna be using blue and I'm gonna add one two three three of the blue and one two two of the green and I'm gonna mix that all up and it gives us a teal color these colors are so amazing for Easter like I'm not even kidding they were amazing and then I'm just gonna add five of the red one two three four five and it gives us pink they came out so freaking cute and the last one I'm gonna be doing yellow so I'm gonna add some yellow I'm gonna add one two three four five five of the yellow and one of the red and it's gonna give us like a sunset you know yellow but these colors are so cute for Easter. Like, they're all Easter colors. I'm going to add some saran wrap on all of them. Then I'm going to get the 
dough and I'm just gonna roll it out as you can see and I just added some flour and then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out all the cookie shapes and I did not have a pan so I used these clear dishes oven safe and yes that was it you guys hope you guys enjoyed it my decorations weren't that weren't that good but I tried my best thank you guys so much until the next time bye